Right, if you click the edit button here, um, you end up with this this screen here, which is uh, like a single screen way of editing a preset. Um, so your effect blocks are obviously here. Look, harmony, delay, reverb, your mod, double, and so on. Um, I'm going to change this uh, harmony style in a minute. If you watch these values over here, they're going to change very, very quickly. Um, so I'll change it to two above, two below. If you watch them, bang, see instantly changing. Uh, and the effect is changing, see my voice is a bit different. I'm going to put it back to one above, see the quickly, that's, that's how rapidly it uh, displays the differences. Um, and these are actually knobs, so you can grab them, you can move them. Now, what I'm doing, moving it all in there, which is very awkward, but once you've got the button, you can do this with it. You haven't got to keep it in the button area, you know, so it's anywhere on the screen. Yeah, you get the idea? I've had some people when say, you know, you've got to keep the mouse in. You haven't. Once you've, once you've clicked the button, it doesn't matter where you keep the mouse button down. Do that with it so you can get any effect. If you need to be more precise, click the box where the number is, and then you can um, put your value in there. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll go back to plus three, go to minus three. Yeah, let's get the idea of that one. Nice and easy way of editing them. Um, you've got uh, within each of these blocks, well not each, most of them, you've got a, a little tweaks button here. There are more parameters available than what's displaying there that you can edit. So if you click the tweaks button in the harmony as an example, um, then I've got gains and frequencies I can adjust, as well as some other switches that you can see all there. Uh, same applies for the delay, yeah, and so on. Yep. Yeah, so all the parameters are there. Uh, the only the ones you would use less than less less are actually hidden under the tweaks thing. There's a clipboard feature as well. Um, what that does it allows you to copy a, a an effect from a preset. So I've already got a couple here: harmony and a delay. They've come from number five, another brick in a wall. And I could copy, uh, say, the double and the reverb from this preset. What I could do then is create a new preset and then just paste the harmony and the delay and so on from there. I hope that makes sense. So you can very quickly build up presets by copying effects from others. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so that basically covers that. Apart from the bottom section, which is like your mix screen. It looks a bit complicated to start with, but it's just a flow of, of how the effects are built up. Yeah, so you might mic is here. Um, the voice life touch then does its uh, tone and hard tune and correction, etc. And then that signal gets sent, the dry signal now gets sent in. You can send how much, you can specify how much gets sent into the U mod, how much gets sent into the delay, and how much of that gets sent into the reverb. Um, then the harmony comes out this way. Then you can specify how much of that harmony effect signal now, not the lead, the actual effect signal gets sent into the U mod how much of that signal gets sent into the delay and how much of it gets sent into the harmony, into the reverb, I mean. And then also going this way through it, you can specify how much of the U mod effect gets sent into the delay and how much of the delay effect gets sent into the reverb and then all that gets sent to the double. Um, once you, when you start looking at the presets, you'll see how they built up. Um, I did, that just makes a nice and easy uh, visual way of seeing how it's done. Um, so that covers the basic screen.